Patrick, um, it's great that we updated Chef, but really what we're trying to do here is deploy a, a, a sample application that you have, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as I recall, that application is going to use um, MongoDB as its uh, data store, at least initially, and uh, is a Rails application, correct? Exactly, yeah. What's this one? Yeah, yeah just the basic, I can start it up. That's great. I mm -hmm. I don't think we uh, we need to see yeah. it, but but it does tell us that we're going to need MongoDB installed on our Vagrant instance. Mm -hmm. uh, so as it turns out, there is a MongoDB cookbook on the community site that's available to us. So why don't we go ahead and use that? Okay. Uh, and we're going to walk through the same process that we did with our Omnibus updater. Mm -hmm. So the first step will be to do a knife cookbook site download MongoDB. Okay, there it is. Right, so let's extract this uh, into the cookbooks directory. Great. Now our next step, all right, so we downloaded from the community site. The next step is to upload the cookbook onto your chef server. So we'll do a knife cookbook upload MongoDB. Oh. Oh, interesting. So we got an error from this, uh, which I have to be honest, Patrick, I knew we were going to get this error. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it says apt something, um, which is a uh, Ubuntu command, isn't it? Right. So it says here that the, the cookbook MongoDB depends on cookbook apt uh, version 0 .0 .0 or or greater. So this tells us that we need to download the apt cookbook from the community site as well. So let's go ahead and do that. It would be a knife cookbook site download apt. Ah, uh, cool. Yep. And then we'll need to do that same dance where we extract the gzip into the cookbooks directory and then upload that apt cookbook first. Okay. Yeah. Shall I remove the archive? Okay. Great. So now let's do a knife cookbook upload apt. And once that's complete, we can then upload the MongoDB cookbook as well. Okay. I see already that the chef server makes you much more productive because you don't need to look up all the recipes or cook cookbooks all the time. So when you have it on the chef server, then it's it's managed or it's over there, and you can reuse it much more easily, isn't it? Uh, right. Once it's up on the on the chef server, you can use that same cookbook with any node within your organization. Mm -hmm. So let's upload the MongoDB cookbook now. And I should also say that you know, Patrick, we we in this tutorial are really not taking the time to look through these cookbooks that we've downloaded from the community site. Uh, that's certainly not the recommended path in a production environment. Uh, as you probably know, Chef Client runs as uh, as the root user, so has uh, elevated privileges on your systems. You're downloading cookbooks off of a community site and then executing them in your environment. You definitely want to know. Uh, what's happening within those cookbooks. That said, okay. um, we are not going to dig into the details of those just yet. I would like mm -hmm. to do that in, a, in another tutorial session that we, okay. that we can set up. Um, what I want to do right now is uh, I would say that this is kind of chef magic that we're seeing. Uh, <laughs> okay. but of course, chef really isn't magic. It's just awesome. So we'll, we'll dig into <laughs> the awesomeness of chef uh, soon enough. 